Hey, it's the Kirby Crew. Uh, it's just me, Daniel, today. And today I'm going to be showing you part one of the Infinity Blade walkthrough. It'll show you all quests, um, you know, getting through the level all the way to the god boss battle, and all hidden treasure chests throughout. So, let's begin. Pick up money, you know, whenever you can. It's going to be hidden throughout. It may not be the same on my game as it is on yours. But make sure you always check your surroundings. And look at who you're going to battle. So I'm going to be facing level 21 Marrow Fiend to start off my game. Let's begin. You can parry, you know, block, do whatever. I love to just dodge. I think it's the simplest at all, but not very hard to do. You know, you just use what you know you what you suits you best. And also I recommend Swords that have the little blood emblem next to them, that's called drain power. Every time you hit him with a drain, it heals you too. Which, in long term results, you know, it actually helps. See, so yeah, I'm healing myself right now, now I have full health again, even though I've been hit. Victory! I use the thorn blade. Uh, as of right now, that's the strongest one I can get that's drain power. Yeah, the thorn blade is... There we go, it's almost level 15. There's a health potion right there, you know, pick it up. I already have five, and that's my max. So I can't. I don't know how to just speed through it all. You know, every once in a while, there actually is something there. Um, it's nothing special, you know, if you want. You can go into the sewers over there after you beat him. I don't like to. I always go through this door no matter what. The gate. You get a lot more treasure chests if you do. Block time. There we go. Plus, you can get a lot more attacks if you dodge versus block. Ah. I blocked that. That's fine.
<laughs> I don't know how that's a miss. I think that went right through my neck, but that sword slice, but apparently it missed me. Victory! God dang, I need to buy a new ring. Level 15. Not the best thing the max you can go is 50, but it works. Um, all I do is upgrade my health and my attack. I don't even use my shield and I barely use my magic. So, yeah. Get a buy new ring. There we go. That one looks fine. So now, if you want to, you can go down there. I never do. Uh, church of chest right there. Okay. I go through here. Okay. Sometimes you're gonna see a. It's gonna be one of the big guys. Um, you know, there's probably gonna be money along one of these aisles over here. You know, I found mine right there. Okay, so now before you want to go battle him, mine's a feral troll. Um, would you mind looking to your right? You seeing some money right there? And look at that. A door. Yo, go explore that room. Uh, there'll be a guy and a treasure chest. Uh, mine's a uh, level 20 at night, not too hard. You know, nothing special about him. No, that totally went through me. I don't know how it missed, but apparently it did. Aww. Oh, yeah, that went through me, too. Super... You know, that wasn't too hard, but I had to get hit three times. I'm not sure. I didn't count, but something low like that. So then after that, you got a, another treasure chest sitting there just waiting for you. Nice, and I got a ring of elements, even though I already have, like, three. You see, there you go. It's also going to get your treasure chest now. So what I get? That's a good item. So then, now you're back out here. No, just like it was, nothing's happened. Still have to face him, and you can't go around him. He won't let you. Ah. No. Let's see, ice. I'll use an ice ring on him. I oh, cut himself down pretty far. Aw, oh, man. Dodge. So it saves you from using a lot of potions. Um, you know, dodging than using the drain hit. Because, look, I just healed myself. And I'm back to perfect health.
These guys aren't hard, just know how to dodge well. That was a fail on him. Victory! And there we go, another victory. Keep progressing through the map. Almost maxed out my thorn blade. Almost level 16. That's pretty good. Let's see. You might want to look around every time you're around here. There's always something, including a treasure chest. <gasps> Imagine that. That's why I like this way better. The ground doesn't give you near as much. So, see, look at that. Just in this one courtyard, you have two treasure chests. And there's quite a few money hiding around, you know? So unlike the base, the ground, there is one in one of the cells, you know, if you're looking closely enough, on the right, it's always going to be there. So if you do decide to take that path. Well, 22 Rogue Knight. Let's do this. Off to poor stite start. Rogue Knight is not doing too hot. I should have to light him up with my eyes. Boom. Poor him. It's not his lucky day. Yeah, imagine that. I'm already at another cut line. He's almost dead. Finishing bonus, see what I do. I just use my ring once and attack him a couple times. I, I think I got hit like once. Throw him off the edge, you know, no big deal. That's a nice shield. Looks cool. Called the Dorn. Sounds cool too. Level 16, that's good. When I do go up two levels already, it's not too bad. Again, I'm just gonna use one of the points for health and one of the for attack. Let's check out that new shield I get. Nice. It's okay, it does 15 and one against poison. Yes, that's pretty good. Okay, um, so I'm going to end my uh, walkthrough part one here. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe to, you know, anything you want to see. We can do it on Nintendo, Xbox, uh, iPod, computer, you know, so just comment below on what you want to see. Um, and thanks, the Kirby Crew out.